I'm Chris Grigori. I'm one of the founders of Lowboy Beaters. And I'm Jeremy Brisky, the other founder. Um, a bass drum beater is, uh, in our case, it's a piece of wood that's attached to a metal rod and it's attached to the foot pedal that hits the bass drum. Yeah, so Low Boy, we've been doing for about four years now. Jeremy and I came up with the concept about five years ago and it took us almost a year to develop the product and feel comfortable putting it out on the market. I just thought that there was, a, there was an opportunity where if someone built a bass drum beater that not only sounded better than what was out there but also looked cool and was customizable that you know, we, we could find some success and I guess I guess we were right. Yeah so this year we actually were in drum magazine for beater of the year. Every year they do what they call the drummies awards and that's what's a reader's poll so people who subscribe to the magazine can vote on their favorite products in all these different product categories and uh, for last year, we won Best Beater of the Year for our Felt Daddy Beater, which was just amazing because they're just these huge companies who we're competing against, and the fact that all these people voted for us was, and I was just really an honor. So when we first started, um, was, we were probably a year into the business or so, and we got an email from this drum tech named Oshwin, and he said, "Hey, I'm." teching with Glenn Kochi right now with Wilco and we'd really love to test out some beaters from you and working with Glenn we actually developed our lightweight beater because of his input and his insight into what he was looking for. Working with drummers like that really helps us excel and put out the things that they're looking for. I think once we got the laser um, to engrave our logo on it it made us look like pros at that point, like our product should be on the shelves of stores because it just looks so polished and finished at that point. Yeah, and it's funny because the logo has nothing to do with the way that the beater sounds or, you know, the, the way that it feels under someone's foot, but I think when you're designing a product, it's those little details that sort of send a signal to your customer that we're a company that thinks about every detail of this. The laser's been essential to our growth as a company and being able to offer certain engravings and styles on the beaters. I was familiar with lasers because a couple of friends of mine have had one and then we bought a more DIY laser I would call it um, before we got our epilogue and we found that other laser was just not performing the way we needed and giving us the quality of engravings we were looking for. So we moved on to the Epilogue uh, Mini 18 because I know a couple people who have them already and I'm always blown away by the quality we get from it. I think if you can afford it to buy a high quality laser from the beginning, you know, I mean, we made the mistake of buying a cheaper laser and we ended up spending so much time just trying to keep it running and keeping it you know, doing what we wanted that I think in the end it would have been a much better value for us just to buy the, the epilogue laser in the first place.